Hello everybody, it's Drew! I'm that frog guy and today I'm doing an unboxing video, so stay tuned, we'll see what it is. The unboxing video is for saltwater um, ghost shrimp for my frog fish. Um, let's look at where we got this from. It's from Salty Bottom Reef Co. and they're from Florida. I got overnight delivery on it, so hopefully they're still alive. But it box is pretty cold when I grabbed it, so let's open it up and see what we got. Set you guys down. Take my handy dandy knife. Super dull knife, I guess. I really like sealing this box up nice and good. I'll just tear it. It looks like there is a foam box within. Put that out of the way. Thank you for your purchase card, some business cards, a magnet, um, my order sheet. But let's see what we got. Hopefully everything is still okay in here. Cute boxes like this. Can be. I feel them so tight in there. I can never get the stupid foam. Okay. So tight. So let's pick you guys up. Let's see what we got. Package pretty good. Heat pack is still pretty darn warm, so that's a good sign. So let's see what they have on top. So it's mostly a ghost shrimp order, but there's a couple other things in here to make the order worth a darn. I guess it's all in one big old bag. Put that aside. Can't tell if the shrimp are moving or not. What do you guys think? Yeah, they're moving. Okay. Well, let's uh, see what else is in here. I'm gonna open the big bag. Didn't wasn't sure what I was expecting for this, but a lot of ghost shrimp piled into tiny little bags. I ordered 150 ghost shrimp. Um, these apparently are salt, the saltwater variety from what they say on their website. I will double check their salinity when I, uh, before I put them into the water, but they all need to be drip acclimated. Anyways, a little bit of damp. So let's take a look. Oh, camera's not even pointed at the area I'm looking. So first is first, whatever's in this bag here. It's a porcelain anemone crab. He is alive, his antennas are moving. Hard to see through the bag. He's tiny, way smaller than I thought he was gonna be. So I'll set him aside, but yeah, he is cold. The bags are pretty darn cold, but. And then let's see what we got here. Okay, this looks like we got an anemone here. This came as a gift from them. Um, foot's a little red, but it looks relatively alive, which is cool. That's just a common flower rock anemone. I just kind of wanted one. Um, some surf snails. They seem to be all right, which is good. Um, Nasarius the snails. Yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good too. Ooh, look at that guy, it's not Nasarius. Focus. I'll go through all the bags one more time. But there's a different kind of snail in here. I think it's an Astria. Yeah. But they seem to be alive. Uh, what do we got here? This is supposed to be a Recordia frag. It looks like a multicolor green and yellow. Looks alive. That's a good sign. It falls face first on the bottom. And last but not least, all these go shrimp. Saltwater go shrimp. There's maybe one dead there, a couple other dead ones, but that's why I ordered 150. There's a lot that are definitely in some kind of cold shock. So let's warm these guys up before I lose them and let's get them out of that water. I probably won't have time to drip acclimate them just because 
how dark that water looks. There looks like there's a lot of pollutants. So once that bag is open, I want them out. So I'll show you guys in a second once everything's in the tanks. Hello everybody, it's the next day. Let's take a look at how everything did through the night. Starting with the stuff I've added to this tank. There's that Recordia. That is a beautiful Recordia. And my hammer's kind of opening up finally. Um, what you doing? He's always sitting, sitting on the th those, uh, those Zoas. How you doing, Bandit? Everything else looks pretty good. I'm having another LG outbreak again, so I've done some water changes. I hate it. <laughs> Oh, let's jump down to where I put everything else. I put three three shrimp, shrimp in here, but or five just to see if you eat. It's kind of cloudy today. Oh, the anemone is looking pretty pretty big and open. Uh, anemone crab look pretty good. It kind of hangs out in the slight flow area. You can see all the ghost shrimp everywhere. They, most of them, a good percentage made it through the night. I don't think, I don't think a good 150 are in here, but there's probably, I don't know, a good 50 or so left, which is better than I had. Some of them had those weird maladies on them, but actually researching a little bit, it's some kind of copepod, not copepod, isopod that attaches to a, them, but they need a certain copepod to attach to to complete the life cycle, which I probably do not have in the tank since they're pretty rare. So I think we're good. Yeah, everything seemed to make it, so I do give these guys a thumbs up for ordering. Um, shipping was a little expensive, but then again, it's coming from Florida and in the winter, so it's not like I could wait. But everything's pretty much alive and pretty healthy. Oh, the only complaint I have is I wish they would have bagged the shrimp in two separate bags. So there's not 150 in one tiny little bag, but as you guys can see, they are cleaning off my LG filled glass. And I haven't done nothing in this tank. I've left it. I've hardly cleaned it. Uh, but it's doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I've lost that uh, Ganapora that I ended up getting. It's kind of sad. Um, it just bleached out in a day. But the uh, hammer's, hammer's doing it pretty okay. What are you looking at? Recordia is beautiful. Ah, I didn't ever get Recordia's before. They're just so colorful. But there you guys have it. That's how the uh, tank ended up. Or how the unboxing ended up. And I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, and you guys will...